You know when you're chilling in the middle of the night and then you suddenly get a burst of motivation to get your life together? You Google search how to be more productive. Wake up early. Wanting people who are more productive. Billionaires wake up early. early people successful. And that leads us to this video. Welcome to waking up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. Let me tell you guys when my alarm went off this morning i nearly turned off my alarm and then just went back to sleep but 30 seconds later i was like no like i just have to get up now i'm awake i think that society generally associates people who sleep in and wake up late as those who are lazy and unproductive whereas they associate those who wake up early as more disciplined and have their life together as the saying goes the early bird gets the worm in a world of high achievers it seems like more and more people are hopping on the bandwagon after all pepsico ceo indra nuvi wakes up at 4 a.m and apple ceo tim cook wakes up at 3 45 a.m and the billion morning routine tells up to wake up at five if it works for these ultra high achieving productivity machines, shouldn't it work for me as well? Right? Right? Well, it turns out it's not really as simple as that. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the scientific evidence behind waking up early, whether or not it's just a trend, and more importantly, if it's going to work for you as an individual. To further prove my point, I decided to test it out for myself and I woke up every day at 5 a.m. for a week. It was literally so hard, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait for my kanji to cook, drink my coffee, and make an Instagram reel. I made a new Instagram account. I freaking spent 30 minutes on this reel, and I saved it as a draft. And now it's like, oh, sorry, can't load the draft. It's no longer available. Guys, I'm actually so sad. It was such a good reel too. Whatever, I think I'm just gonna redo it later in the day. At least it wasn't a YouTube video that I spent like 30 hours editing or something. That would be so sad. Ugh. I'm gonna make a little smoothie and I'm gonna make some eggs and toast. I haven't used this blender in so long, so let's see if it still works. Overall, the day was pretty good, but it was an extremely slow morning. Like, it took three hours to complete my morning habits, breakfast, cleaning up, and eating, whereas it would normally take one. I noticed myself staring into space a lot and not using my morning time efficiently. I also forgot to put spinach in my smoothie. I'll see you guys when I wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m. <laughs> Bruh, that's a sound triggers me so much. Guys, like, I don't know if I'm hallucinating, but I just saw this gigantic bug flying around and now I can't find it anymore. Oh my god, oh my god. Did you guys see it? Oh my god. What the f The kinds of things life throws at you. Oh, I'm just gonna open this and hope you get I cannot deal with this right now. Okay, well, I don't hear the moth anymore. So hopefully it left through that window. <gasps> um, yesterday night, I also 
wrote down what I was gonna do this morning because yesterday I wasted a lot of time just like standing around. Aristotle said it is well to be up before daybreak for such habits contribute to health, wealth, and wisdom. This is just one of the plethora of quotes that famous wealthy people have written about waking up early. But are there scientific studies to back up this claim? Hello, how is it going? It's Rebecca. I'm just here to remind you to like the video if you've been enjoying it so far and also subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I've been posting every single week on YouTube. Also, go follow my Instagram account. I've been also posting a lot more on there lately. And leave a comment because I read all of my comments. Um, that's it. Love you. Bye, guys. Numerous studies have suggested that morning people are more persistent, self-directed, and agreeable. They set higher goals for themselves, plan for the future more, and have a higher sense of well-being. Professor Christoph Randler from the University of Education in Heidelberg, Germany, conducted research that showed morning people tend to get better grades in school, which gets them into better colleges, which then leads them to better job opportunities. Morning people also anticipate problems and try to minimize them. They're proactive, and numerous studies have linked proactivity with better job performance, greater career success, and higher wages. However, Remember that correlation doesn't equal causation. It's not clear that waking up early itself provides these various benefits or if early risers are just more in sync with the traditional corporate schedule, which we will talk about in the next chapter. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup and put on some clothes and go outside for a walk in order to make myself feel more alive. I actually might go for a bike ride. I still need to recover from another love. Oh, would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even. Yesterday, I was extremely tired for the whole day and I really wanted to go to sleep. It definitely affected my productivity in a negative way because of how low energy I was. Sleep is extremely important to me and I didn't get enough of it even though I went to bed early. I felt like I didn't fall asleep for a very long time and I felt like I was tossing and turning all night. Personally, I didn't have to wake up that early before my body was ready, but it did make me wonder about those people who do have to wake up before their natural wake up time. They must be constantly functioning on empty. Studies have suggested early rising and success might be linked, perhaps because people who wake up early are more in sync with the traditional corporate schedule, not necessarily because early risers are less lazy. Most of us are expected to start work or school by 8 or 9 a.m. If you are a morning person, you're already way ahead of your night owl peers. For example, if a night owl has to wake up at 7 a.m. for school, their bodies still think they're asleep and therefore they'll be groggy for much longer than a morning person who wakes up at the same time, leading to less productivity. Maybe if we had an option for school or work to start later in the day but still remain the same amount of hours, the night owls would be more productive. Positive attitudes towards morning productivity is deeply ingrained in our society. And this leads me to the subject of the next chapter. Can you change yourself into a morning person? So I have two problems. Actually, I have way more than two problems. But so the problems aren't about waking up. Did you just see the way that I was drinking that? What was wrong with me? So my problem is not waking up early. Waking up at 5 and getting up 
is fine for me. My problem is number one, staying awake, and number two, falling asleep. Because yesterday I filmed my whole day as like a 5 a.m. productive day in the life video. And if you watch that, you would be able to see that um, I actually went to bed at 8. But the whole night, I just felt like I was tossing and turning and not like completely fully asleep. Now that could be because number one, I'm sleeping on an air mattress right now. Number two, I know I'm in a new environment. I haven't gotten adjusted yet. Many factors. And because I don't fall asleep on time, even though I go to bed on time, when I wake up in the morning, I'm fine. And then I crash really hard. I don't deal well with sleep deprivation. So what I did in those like two hours after I woke up, I felt like I could have done in one hour or even less than that. But because I was very sleep deprived and zombie like, I just wasn't working as efficiently. Okay, I'm gonna end day three here. See you tomorrow. What scientists call chronotypes is people's circadian preference, which describes an individual's proclivity for earlier or later sleep. Basically, whether or not you're a morning or a night person, there is a significant natural variation among chronotypes in the human population, and the pattern is normally distributed. Studies show that genetics do play a big factor as to whether or not you're a morning person. A huge study published in the journal Nature with a cohort of over 90,000 people found a multitude of genes associated with morningness. However, genetics isn't the only factor that contributes to waking up early. In the next chapter, I want to be talking about how you can become a morning person. There was one small study conducted between three universities, the University of Birmingham, University of Surrey, and Monash University, where they recruited 21 extreme night owls. These people would normally have an average bedtime of 2.30 a.m. and would wake up after 10 a.m. The group was told to stick to the following instructions that were practical and non-pharmacological for three weeks. Wake up between two and three hours earlier than normal, so for them it was between 7 and 8 a.m. Eat breakfast as soon as they could, have lots of outdoor light exposure in the morning, only exercise in the morning, eat lunch at the same time every day, don't consume caffeine after 3 p.m., no naps after 4 p.m., no more food after 7 p.m., restrict light exposure in the evenings, go to sleep two to three hours earlier than normal, go to bed and wake up early at the same times every day. Yesterday night, I stayed out a bit later, but I slept at 11.30 p.m. I cannot function on no sleep. And what were the results? These night owls were able to shift their sleep schedules by two hours. Participants still slept for the same number of hours and felt less tired and experienced lower levels of depression and stress and an increased reaction time. Dr. Andrea Bagshaw says that these are relatively simple things that anyone can do that makes an impact and can help you feel better. Yum. We love a barf green colored smoothie.
Hey guys. Um, it's currently 4.48 in the morning. I low-key stayed up all night again, pulled an all-nighter, I know, it's so bad. This is like the second video I've done this, but I promise you, I don't do this often at all. This life is just like so hectic lately. I'm really freaking tired right now. This was supposed to be the last day of like waking up at 5 a.m., but I really need my sleep right now, so I'll talk to you when I wake up. I'm so sorry. Please don't dislike this video. I promise I'll have like all my thoughts and reflections and like reasons why tomorrow I'm just really tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hello. All right, time for my ending thoughts and opinions on this challenge. I have a lot of thoughts. Remember that this part is just all my own opinion. So if you agree or disagree, you can let me know down in the comments below as well. So number one, I didn't find that waking up at 5 a.m. made me more productive. In fact, I think it made me less productive, similar to Matt Diavello's video where he said the same thing so i found it extremely hard to fall asleep early even though i went to bed very early i couldn't fall asleep i kept on tossing and turning throughout the night i also didn't like waking up and having it be completely dark still outside i like waking up to sunlight even the study that i was talking about in the video they want to have as much light in the morning as possible i also felt like i was doing things so slowly because i was sleep deprived for example i took so long to make my breakfast every morning whereas let's say it took me like an hour to make my breakfast but if i did have enough sleep it would have taken me 20 minutes so in that time, I could have been sleeping. It would amount to the same amount of productivity and I would feel much better. Number two, I don't like how society deems night owls as lazy. I feel like it's obvious that night owls will struggle in a world that was made for early risers. Work starts at 9 a.m. so you have to leave at like 8, 8.30 and then wake up at like 7, 7.30. School starts even earlier than that at like 8 or 8.30. Obviously these night owls that naturally like to stay up later will be half asleep in the mornings where they have to use their brains and will feel like super groggy and tired and slow just like I did at 5 a.m. Additionally, there's also people that are forced to work night shifts or those who have night classes so it's not everybody is able to sleep and wake up early and just because they wake up later doesn't mean that they're not grinding the third point i wanted to make was that i value sleep a lot and i cannot function sleep deprived on that last day i like went to bed i know it's bad to have different sleep and wake up times honestly i was really struggling to balance everything and like i still am struggling to balance between you know work youtube moving still i still have like things to build and like packages and stuff to order friends going out exploring the new city studying and honestly being like feeling a little bit overwhelmed with everything but i know that without your health you have nothing so i'm gonna be very strict and adamant about how much sleep that i'm getting but don't worry i love creating content so much for you guys so like youtube is like very high up in my priorities list and please subscribe because i'll still be posting every single week and if i need a break i'll just let you guys know it's okay to take breaks in like anything like school work and obviously i want to prioritize my health to make sure to create good content for you guys because if i'm not healthy or in a good headspace if i'm in like a negative headspace i don't want to influence you guys in a negative way 
A lot of people ask me how I edit. I do everything on Final Cut Pro and then I draw all of my animations and stuff by hand and my titles on Procreate. The font that I use, like this font, is my own handwriting. So I created my own font with my handwriting in order to just like personalize everything and make it unique. So I hope that you've been enjoying my editing. I always try to improve that. Okay, back to the subject at hand. My fourth point is that waking up at 5 a.m. isn't a necessity and it's not some life-altering thing, productivity hack, and you won't become a multi-millionaire overnight just because you woke up at 5 in the morning. So I think that being intentional with your time is the most important part. What you do with the time that you are awake is more important than what time you actually woke up at. Some people say that, oh, 5 a.m. is the best time for productivity because no one else is awake to bother you. But for me, it doesn't really work. And plus, like, can't you just put your phone away and put it on do not disturb? Je ne sais pas. Additionally, there are a lot of highly successful people and CEOs like Jeff Bezos who lets himself wake up naturally at 9 a.m. For me, after this challenge, I've been waking up at like 7.30 to 8 a.m. and that's been perfect for me because I need to leave, because oh, I need to leave at around 8.30 usually. In the summer though, I did wake up later at like 9 to 10, so I have shifted my schedule unknowingly i have been doing the things that they did in the study like i don't drink coffee in the evenings i don't take naps in the evenings so i think those tips actually really help if you want to start waking up a bit earlier but not like at 4 a.m <laughs> To wake up at 5 a.m. or to not wake up at 5 a.m. I think that it's definitely complicated and dependent on the individual and their own schedule. In the end, having an adequate amount of sleep and how you spend the time that you're awake is more important in my opinion. Remember, without your health, you literally have nothing, so please prioritize your mental and physical health and don't judge other people for their sleep or their wake-up time. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. First of all, I miss you. Secondly, I never want to see your face again I get that it makes no sense Oh, but I've been trying to forget that I remember you exist I'm just exhausted, cause you said you needed me